okay what's up guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm at this place which is known as the embassy park embassy park yes embassy park now this place is known as embassy park is the burial site for how many of our president five of our presidents who have passed on we have president chiruba president levi manawasa president kaunda president rupia banda and president michael chirufia sata five presidents who have died so this this place it's a special burial site it is known as the embers park why is it known as embers park is because it is surrounded by a lot of embassies there is the british embassy italian embassy russian embassy serbian embassy this this one is Serbia. yeah going behind there is even japan there is japan germany, embassy germany india. tanzania yeah india and so forth so this is the video for today guys so if you are new on my channel don't forget subscribe Turn on bell notification and give this video a thumbs up. So guys, I'm going to show you now on a tour about our great heroes we have here in Zambia. Let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is for President. Yeah. I can't believe it that I'm finally here. Okay. His Excellency Rupia Bwesani Band. So... So even him, the, in future, they also put a... They must uh, put up a mausoleum as well wow. for him. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, uh, hey, it's so humbling. Yes, sir. I didn't know that uh, I could have... Uh, I'll reach here. This is the, our, our, our most latest one. Yes, sir. This is the latest the one. one the one who died the more recently. Yeah, yeah. They buried him on the 18th of March. So this is one month plus now. Okay. Yes, sir. Also, kindly help me to reach my milestone of a hundred thousand subscribers by December. I did a video about a month ago. Yeah, yes, it's about it. Okay. So, what do we call this place? Embassy for the Presidential Barrier Site. Okay. So it's surrounded by embassies. This is the British High Commission. This is the uh, Italian. Uh, no embassy. wonder it is called the Embassy, embassy Park. park. Russian Embassy, the Serbian. So if you go all these. Come embassy. again, Serbian. Serbian, Russian, Russia. Emba. so if you go behind there, there's Egyptian, uh -huh. there's uh, Egyptian there, then that's Malawi, Nigeria, there's Indian, Tanzania, so... Wow, mm -hmm. British so Embassy, Italian. Sides, uh -huh. And behind, it's surrounded by embassies, but right in front, opposite, that's the Ministry of Defense. We have the PSMD and the Cabinet Office and the Vice President Office there. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first we'll start with President Chilibas Mausoleum. Okay. So the way they've done the mausoleum is like a church or a chapel uh, uh, design with a cross on top there. So I that's to see. show that he's a president that declares them as a Christian nation. Ooh. Yes. Nice. And okay. just below the cross, there's that structure with a round roof. Yes. And the way they roof those village huts, uh, uh, that's showing housing empowerment. So there's one president that wanted to wow. empower Zambians to own houses and uh, they came up with that program. They were selling council houses for a cheaper stain kwacha. Yes, yeah. I remember. Mm -hmm. And the whole building, if you go around, it's got 10 pillars. If you count these Ooh. pillars, they're 10 for the 10 years that he served as president. Mm. From 1991 to 2001. So I didn't the know there is even a meaning. Uh -huh. Then the same pillars, they're like fingers that are holding and gripping the structure together. Like making it stronger, show that is one president that worked very hard to promote regional peace. Because oh. our neighbors in Angola, Mozambique, and Congo, they were going through civil wars. Uh -huh. So he managed to bring the leaders of these countries that were fighting, like Kabila and Mabutu, De Santos uh -huh. and Savimbi, brought them together for peace talks. Wow. And this part here has been designed in the shape of a necktie, if you notice. Ah, like yes, yes, so yes, yes. Remember him for his elegance and fashion. Oh, he because he was a man. fashionable <laughs> president. <laughs> oh, I remember. President Shuruba, President Shuruba was really a smart president. Ooh. Okay. Oh my God. Wow, nice. I've learned a lot already. I didn't know about that. Wow. That's the man himself. Suits. Yes, he was the very smart president. Wow, nice. Oh, I'm grateful for the thing. 
I didn't you know, honestly. I live in Zambia. Oh yeah, and then what you fought for? Trade unions or whatever. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. But let me first take this. Yes. And you saw it was my video that was coming up. It was a video that popped up. Wow. Uh, no, I'm so like happy. Uh, the second one we are going to for President Mwanawasa. Mm -hmm. So the one they designed is mausoleum. It's like a stool, an African traditional stool. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's to show that uh, he's the first head of state who died as a sitting president. Oh, a stool meaning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He died in office. Whilst he was serving as their president. Wonderful. Yeah. Then uh, if you count the steps here, they are showing the number of years that he served as president. Ah. So if you remember, he was elected in 2001 general election. Yes. But he was inaugurated in 2002 January. So yes. So if you count, we have one, one. Two, three, four, five. This is showing one term. Oh. Yo. That's why this step is even longer. He <laughs> was re-elected second term, he just said for two years. Oh, this is one, one two, two years. That is symbolizing his death that he died before. He now I've stopped fighting. People were wondering, <laughs> these, what are these houses? What are those, yeah. those extra? So there is meaning to everything. Everything, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Where the wow. If you look at this three steps declining, uh -huh. like one, two, three, these are showing the three many years. Mm -hmm. The ones that he yeah. didn't finish and were saved by President Banda after 2008 by Wow. And the way he's been buried, his coffin has been placed in a way that it's lying down there directly facing that building. So that building uh -huh. we are seeing there, that's a Ministry of Defense. Wow. So that's to show that he died as Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces. Wow. Then oh. this, this is the signature of the one I was telling you about. Yes. This monument here. The monument for the war the general. Right. World War I. Yes. Oh, World War One. Okay. Wow. This is emotional, very emotional. Wow. I'm happy I came. I'm happy. You can just sign the come and sign for you. Oh. Yeah, so this is the procedure we have. People come through, they pay here. Okay. Yes, sir. What's the date today? Today is the 26th. 26th. Ah, yes, and when is the Kenneth Kaunda day? On Thursday. That will be the 28th, his birthday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we come to present Michael Shusasa as mausoleum. Uh -huh. So for him, if you notice, it looks modern and fancy. There's that modern oh. touch to it, that fanciness to show that we remember him for bringing about a lot of infrastructure developments. I see infrastructure. Yes, sir. Then it has gone up to the top floor there to show that we also remember him for uplifting the living standards of ordinary Zambians. And uh, uh, when he brought about that program for minimum wage and also increased salaries for civil servants. Wow. Yes, sir. Then uh, wow. there are these names that you're seeing here on the steps. These are showing the districts that he created. So, President oh. Sanders, the government created 29 districts as a way of taking development to rural areas. Wow. Yes. Oh. Now, that super thing on top of this face inside, that's showing the replacing of the quacha. Ah. Like the coins. I see. Yes, sir. Then the actual design for the building, they got it from the Bible. From the King Solomon's temple. Ah. So President Sata, two days after he won the election, he went to St. Ignatius Parish. Yes, yes. He was a Catholic. Yes, yes. He was Catholic. That's why he made the declaration to say, my government shall be run based on the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Serious? Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. So, once you come inside, they've mm -hmm. put the Ten Commandments. Yes. writings because the Ten Commandments were even handed to Moses in Hebrew. Then uh, we have uh, the Ten Pillars. These Ten Pillars are symbolic of the Ten Provinces that we have. Wow. So before we had nine, then we created Muchinga as the tenth province. Yes, so now they became... Notice, the pillar of Muchinga, the letters are different colors, they are more oh, brighter. Oh, they so are... So that it's a new province. It's the more latest province. Mm -hmm. 
So there's Muchinga province, Western province, Southern province, Central province, Northern province, Copper Belt province, and then in Northwestern province, then in Lusaka. Wow, brilliant man. So this is a very Wow. And I, I, so I remember that he said to govern based on the Ten Commandments. Oh, based on the Ten Commandments, just after I became president. president. Exactly. Very true. Wow. I'm now proud of this place. I didn't <laughs> know it even had some meanings. This in Nusoria. Yes, I didn't know that. Uh, I think there's a lot of thought that is put through, they don't just make they it. They don't them. just make it anyhow. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there is always uh, thinking, it's not just making it anyhow. They take certain details. Wow, nice. So like they have just put some highlights in infrastructure projects. Ooh, so, which he implemented. Yeah, yeah, that the infrastructure projects are today. And you know, he saved for a short time. Yeah, just for three years. Just for three years, but what he left behind because some of the things which people uh, finished the predecessor where his projects which he started. Yes, sir. 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 The Robert Marcus University. Oh, so, yes, yes. This is the Shaman for judicial offices. We have the Michael Chitasata Hospital. This is the Mongo Kalau Bridge. Wow. Exactly. And this is in Choma. When you move the provincial quarters from the next to Choma. To Choma. Yes, and these are hostels. Wow. So, nice. So they even put them here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Ooh. So powerful, powerful history about our Zambian presidents. Now, to avoid making this video unnecessarily longer, we have the last president who was the first Republican president, the most popular president in Zambia, President Kenneth Kaunda. Now, tomorrow, this man, I have a video to make tomorrow about President Kaunda, so it is a full episode where I've dedicated why because tomorrow is Kenneth Kaunda day. There is even a public holiday made only for this liberator. Why? There is a history to it. Tomorrow I do a video specifically on the 28th of April, which is the public holiday set aside to celebrate this man. So if you are new on my channel, come on, do me a favor, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you tomorrow on Kenneth Kaunda Day. We are one Zambia, one nation together. We can make the Zambia a great nation and this world a better place.